Scientists joined with community members for an unusual event in Kaneohe Bay today. They released baby hatchery-raised sea urchins into the bay. It's a program to control invasive algae. KITV's Dick Allgaier reports on why scientists believe the urchins will be good for the reef. State aquatic biologists set out from Heiakea Small Boat Harbor carrying nearly a thousand baby sea urchins. They're heading out to place the small young urchins on the reef in the middle of Kaneohe Bay. This area of the bay has been overgrown by a nasty invasive seaweed that smothers the reef. Scientists have found the sea urchins eat the invasive algae. These urchins were able to keep it under this algae down from growing for a whole entire year. Where the other side of the reef where we didn't have these urchins, it grew back to 35 percent. Sea urchins are difficult to grow in captivity. The larvae are microscopic and difficult to raise. And one of the big challenges is keeping them suspended in the water column without damaging their little arms. When the arms break, they will, the larvae will, will perish at that point. Get them. But these little urchins are doing well. They are small but ready to live on the reef and start gobbling up seaweed. In a ceremonial gesture, the Kaneohe Canoe Club was invited to help deliver the trays of small urchins to divers who went down and placed them on the reef. It's just like my little kids. And, you know, putting them in the water and then we'll have the opportunity to come back in a couple of months and see if they're growing. And it just makes me feel proud that I'm a part of the community and helping out the bay. Scientists say they hope to have another batch of urchins ready to release in about three months. And then in the future, they hope to be able to do it on nearly a monthly basis. Reporting from Kaneohe Bay, Dick Allgaier, KITP4 News. The urchins were five to six months old, and in the next few months, they will eat plenty of seaweed and double or triple in size.